a short biography of Mahendra Prabhu. Mahendra Prabhu appeared in 12th March 1953 in West Virginia, USA. And uh, Prabhuji's legal name was Edward Stryker. And uh, in 1973, in the age of 20 year only, when he was just 20 year old, he received Harinam initiation from his divine grace, Abhay Chandarin Bhaktivedan Swami Shri Pupar. And uh, Prabhuji left from our material vision on 17 July 2010. And uh, Prabhu appeared in the family of uh, musician and singers. Uh, Prabhuji himself was, uh, before coming into Krishna consciousness also, he was guitarist, musician, singer. And most importantly, he was a painter. Uh, we will see, the devotees have seen that uh, second floor of Brahmachari Ashram, room number 89, in Iskwan Nandavan, Brahmachari Ashram. He decorated the whole second floor with the unique kind of paintings. So he was a very wonderful painter also. And uh, one past time was there, like when Prabhuji's father was ill, in an interview, Prabhuji spoke all these things. That uh, at that time, Prabhuji, their uh, family members tried to connect with Prabhuji. But Prabhuji at that time renounced all the worldly affairs. So later, Prabhuji got a dream in which uh, he was informed that his father is a disciple of Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Maharaj and uh, in his previous birth. So now he can be get he can li get liberation because of the services of Aindra Prabhu. So Prabhu took that dream very seriously and uh, Prabhu arranged, uh, Prabhu talked with their family members and uh, Prabhu arranged uh, from local temple in USA Prabhu arranged uh, garland, tulsi leaves, and uh, some more spiritual paraphernalia for giving it to his father. And Prabhuji was firmly convinced about the sentence of Srimad Bhagavatam of the, regarding the 21 generations of uh, devotee, one who is getting pure devotional service will be liberated. So Prabhuji is like from very unique background. And uh, Prabhuji spent his most of time in Iskong, Vrindavan. And because of him, only Iskong, Vrindavan got too much popularity, which we are seeing in current scenario. But Prabhuji's first visit was like very unique. He, he came in 1982 in Vrindavan. First time he came in Vrindavan. And all his luggage, all his luggage and money got stolen right in the bus to Vrindavan. So he was very much like annoyed what to do with this kind of situation. Later, he went to Mayapur and then he went back to USA. In 1986, again, he came back to Vrindavan. And then he restarted that 24-hour uh, Harinam Sankirtan, which was ori originally uh, started by Sri Prabhupada. So, uh, Prabhuji was like very much interested in his, uh, uh, he was uh, seeking the answers of uh, questions. So he was like uh, very much attracted towards the Vraj Prem Bhakti. And uh, he was, uh, and he heard and uh, read the reference that anyone who dies, actually gives up the body in the Yamuna is bound to go back to Golok Vrindavan. So in 1986, Prabhuji was planning uh, to go and uh, uh, left body in Yamuna and he started to walk towards Yamuna. But uh, the sound from within himself was saying again and again that uh, don't do this right now and uh, start Harinam Sankirtan. Prabhupada started at 24 hour Harinam Sankirtan and now you have to start. So Prabhuji literally, Prabhuji again went back to temple and uh, Prabhuji started that Harinam Sankirtan. And that Harinam Sankirtan was like, in initial days, that was very difficult for Prabhuji also. Because uh, no one was there, very few duties were there to play the Mridanga. And uh, so Prabhuji used to like, whoever Brajavasi used to visit the temple, Prabhuji used to ask him to play Mridanga. And if somebody, <laughs> if somebody like, like me, if 
visited the temple then he said i don't know how to play mridanga then prabhu used to say uh, just you play like dum 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 i will i will sing and i will uh, sing kirtan on harmonium don't worry so in this way uh, prabhu ji started this 24 hour hrnam sankirtan and prabhu ji was the only uh, the heart and soul of that hrnam sankirtan and uh, this was like level of consciousness of prabhu ji we can see with this particular first time that uh, once uh, temple management requested prabhu ji to attend uh, to do kirtan in marriage of uh, one of the devotee family and uh, prabhu ji was like prabhu ji was not going here and there to do kirtan and prabhu ji used to do kirtan only in krishna balram temple only prabhu ji used did not go even other places in uh, vrindavan for uh, kirtan so prabhu ji but temple management was requesting that is a big donor and he wanted you to sing at his marriage so prabhu ji went there and uh, before just reaching that particular marriage ceremony prabhu ji asked one of his assistant to uh, bind his like eyes and prabhu ji used a black cloth with cotton on his eyes and, and like he completely wrapped his eyes so that he couldn't see anything and no one was able to ask prabhu ji why you are doing all these things so prabhu ji attended marriage and uh, prabhu ji did very wonderful kirtan and prabhu ji came back and after reaching to vrindavan prabhu ji asked now remove this all this cloth on my from my eyes so devotees uh, asked do you what is this particular leela why you did all these things so prabhu ji said that in my life i wanted to see only one couple and that is radha sham sundar i don't want to see any other couple so this is the level of consciousness which uh, is rajendra prabhu is carrying and prabhu ji was not only a kirtan here but prabhu ji when that was a need in particular time in vrindavan there was no lakshmi fund collection was very low so temple management requested to prabhu ji to please uh, arrange for funds so because prabhu ji was quite popular so prabhu ji um, instructed a few of his followers to get the lakshmi and prabhu ji arranged for finance also in temple and because of prabhu ji only the temple's popularity is like anything in current scenario earlier in earlier days no one was no one used to visit vrindavan but uh, spirit of prabhu ji's kirtan was so powerful that uh, due to prabhu ji only people all over the world people are coming and visiting vrindavan and prabhu ji's spirit of kirtan is very powerful and not only kirtan but chanting also so prabhu ji not only spread kirtan all over the world because prabhu ji used to sing kirtan at the same time because of him prabhu ji attracted many youths to come to vrindavan to live in vrindavan and to live in different temples and to sing kirtans so because of prabhu ji many uh, devotees got attracted towards kirtan so prabhu ji was very powerful in spreading holy name all around the world and this is the very special uh, room in which prabhu ji was living room number 89 in romachari ashram second floor rukul building prabhu ji was having 1200 shaligram shilas 1200 shaligram shilas and prabhu ji was having nitai shachisutta that is of nitai shachisut radha giridhari giriraj shila ashta sakhi ananga manjari shilpa upad vigra bhakti dan saraswati thakur and gopeshwar mahadev so prabhu ji was having this kind of uh, perafer spiritual paraphernalia and all these deities in his room so this uh, story of this uh, 1200 shaligram shila is very unique like prabhu ji got a few shaligram shila in when prabhu ji visited nepal later on uh, many devotees used to come and used to keep shaligram shila in front of the room of prabhu ji so when you, <laughs> prabhu ji used to open the room and he used to see shaligram shila so prabhu ji used to keep that in a, in his custody and he used to serve personally to every shaligram shila so and prabhu ji used to say that like krishna wanted to get services from me how i can deny that's why prabhu ji was having too much shilas <laughs> 
the letter on management requested everyone and management uh, uh, hang the board that don't keep any telegram shila in front of anandra prabhu's room so that was the level of prabhu's like prabhu's attitude of service and uh, prabhu ji was like very meek very humble and very simple in his behavior uh, prabhu ji was very senior so and prabhu ji was like constant kirtaniya uh, many times prabhu ji like this particular figure like in one interview prabhu ji told that i chant 116 rounds and uh, few places devotees were saying that prabhu ji used to chant 128 rounds daily so after doing all this japa he, he used to do all this japa and uh, all this kirtan and they still prabhu ji used to get time for cleaning washrooms and when all ashram devotees used to sleep in night in late night prabhu ji used to clean washrooms and toilets of ashram and uh, prabhu ji was very easily approachable everyone would like to if, if everyone who ever come to meet with prabhu ji prabhu ji used to talk with him and normally prabhu ji was talking about like how to get shuddha krishna prem and how to intensify our chanting so prabhu ji was ex- very expert in explaining all these aspects and this particular nitai chatisut gor nitai vigrha is also very unique a, a bus party was like uh, bus had crashed on parikrama marg so that deity was not being taken care by anyone so prabhu ji took responsibility and prabhu ji went there and prabhu ji thought that uh, the gor nitai are in a very extremely hot and humid weather and unserved by anyone so he picked up them and brought them to his room so in that way prabhu ji got that nitai shachisu sari dt and uh, prabhu ji just uh, heard one word from shilpopa and prabhu ji was in uh, new york and uh, uh, prabhu ji was there so prabhu ji was doing kirtan and shilpopa came into that uh, room and seeing aindra prabhu singing very nicely very aesthetically shilpopa's uh, jai and that was the then that's it prabhu ji is association with shilpopa like this one only that uh, shilpopa told jai and uh, like few of the popular quotes of uh, aindra prabhu number one like devotees who don't chant their rounds but are good kirtaniyas are just entertainers so prabhu ji was very heavy sometimes while speaking on chanting and this uh, handwriting of prabhu ji uh, and this very unique room conversation which i am sharing devotees aindra prabhu how are you and how is your health so prabhu ji's reply was my health that's a question you ask a shudra i am not a shudra na ham vipro na narpati na api vaishyo na shudro I am not a Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, or Sudra. I am none of these things. I am the dust of the lotus feet of the mad servants of Shrimati Radharani. And for that reason, I feel the need to emphasize the chanting of their holy names. So it was the consciousness of Prabhuji to always uh, getting opportunity to his... Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna,
what is the difficulty why is muted hari krishna am i audible maraj now audible last slide we could not hear i'm sorry maraj like i got call on my mobile that's why like, because i am speaking from mobile maraj thank you very much maraj and this forgive me and for tolerating my this all this presentation and so. very nice <laughs> lot of things you know i like this one huh? if someone is doing kirtan but not chanting prescribe round is the entertainer that disease with all maximum devoted children they can see the whole night also but they cannot see and job for two hours <laughs> they can they want to show other that means they are entertainers if they call them a uh, sing kirtan that's when it is interesting sit down and chant they cannot <laughs> is uh, maximum devoted children suffer from the disease I don't know why is that. Some there's something is better than nothing. <laughs> okay. We can stop the spotlight. Who is the spotlight? Uh, Krishna, for Krishna, we should wait for that. so yes very nice uh, now actually so many temples at 24 hour kirtan going on but vrindavan uh, is special actually so that is why so many places 24 hours kirtan going on but why vrindavan uh, is so special due to vendra yes the way he left this plant that is also extraordinary uh, he could not come from our from our, maybe that but when he was suffocated he is paying obeisances so when he left this this plant in such a mood he left this plant his attachment to vrindavan attachment to holy name was extraordinary actually everybody want that thing the attachment to holy name attachment to love the rupa shami told no this what is the essence of all instruction residing in the one and chant nicely <laughs> under the guidance of uh, pure devotee like shila prabhu under the guidance of shila prabhu he was chanting prabhu do started 24 hours kirtan she continued so under the guidance of chila prabhupad in bindavan dham chanting holy name that which was the instruction essence of all instruction by rupa goshami so he understood properly we can give lecture but he understood it properly okay uh, very nice uh, was nice preparation but look like shambhala prabhu is giving first time he is using first time this type of technology looks like that <laughs> he is suffering from using this technology <laughs> he should he should be heavy suited to use this technology maharaj Sorry. shambhala prabhu made first time ppt he learned and then he wow oh, great first like... presentation also like <laughs> Presentation. <laughs> I did Maharaj presentation, but like this is not on my laptop actually. <laughs> so the laptop of Hardik Prabhu. So I couldn't like uh, run properly, Maharaj. So I like it will become difficult. Yes, sir. But you have to manage at last. 
it was also good yeah, you got five minutes that is i want to cover the other lot of time less <laughs> extra okay any question or comment maharaj aindu prabhu i heard he also used to dress radha shyam sundar every day i have one small video should i play that yes Recording was not good. Old, old video. <laughs> Technology was not so much developed. Okay, very good. Who is the next? Next will be seventeenth, uh, seventeenth huh? or sixteenth? Fourteenth. Sixteenth. Sixteenth. Sixteen. Okay, time there. Yeah. Okay, next class. Who is the next speaker? Maharaj, we yes, have time for Rasraj Krishna Pu, as you told. Else, Gaurang Manohar Pu can he he was ready. So we are trying for Rasraj Krishna Pu first. Then otherwise, Gaurang Manohar Pu is also ready. About whom? Uh, that was not decided, Maharaj. We are taking out the list of the Shil Prabhupada disciples, and we will choose from. You give the list before. Yes. Yeah. Ah, uh, like Guru Gobind Maharaj he left is the first one like that. Guru Gobind Maharaj is there, and Kirtanananda Shami, the very old disciple. Sridhar Maharaj, Sridhar Maharaj is there also. Ah, uh, another very yeah old devotee who was he was nineteen ninety six. He was the GBC chairman. Ah, uh, his name was I forgot. Okay. Shuvatar Maharaj. Shuvatra Shami. Ha, Shuvatra Shami. Okay, time is over. Thank you very much. Shilapapa, Kiran, Charles, Gaurav, Gaurav.